This one is quite important to know. If you're in the STEM field, absolute value of x is mathematically defined as square root of x squared. And I'm going to show you why it's defined that way. By the way, for those who didn't know about this yet, when something is mathematically defined, we use this triple equal sign. Also, I'm just letting you know that this definition is true for only the real numbers, okay? Let me first ask you this. What's x in here? There are two possible answers, right? Plus 3 and minus 3? Now, how about this one? What's x in here? This time, x is just 3. Do you see the slight difference? It will become more clear with this. What is x in here? This one should be minus 3. You see, when you see the square root of a number like this one and this one, you're either seeing the positive or negative number already. Then what was that first answer? Here, when we remove the square by square rooting both sides, we have to consider both the plus and the minus cases. You could put the plus minus sign in front of x instead. That doesn't matter. And that's how we got two answers. But the other two questions were asking with the ones that signs have been determined already. Here, the plus one has already been chosen. And here, we have the minus one chosen. When we perform a mathematical operation, if we're dealing with just numbers, there's only one solution with one determined sign. There cannot be two different answers, right? It's the exact same thing. When you square root a number, we already know the sign. Square root of 9 isn't plus minus 3. It's just plus 3, because that was the positive square root of 9. But in this case, we haven't figured out its sign yet. Like this. So we don't know which one it is yet. So, when you see a square root of something, it's already a positive number. This is a negative number. So far so good? Okay, so back to our original topic. Here's an example. Simplify the following expression. The answer is this. Because what did I say about this one? That square root of x squared is already a positive number, right? But wait, if square root of x squared is already a positive number, can't we just use x instead of the absolute value of x, like this? No, definitely not. Think about this. What if x was negative 3? I never said x is a positive number. I said this whole thing in the denominator is a positive number, right? So. Let's look at the left-hand side. If we plug in negative 3 there, we'll get negative 3 over 3, right? Do the math. But on the right-hand side, if we plug in negative 3, you'll get negative 3 over negative 3. Are the left and the right-hand side the same? No. We have this equal sign here, which means this one and that one are the same. But they're not the same. That's why we need that modulo bracket, or the absolute value bracket. That one is a wrong answer. This is why square root of x squared isn't x, but rather the absolute value of x. So be careful when you find something like that while deriving some equations. Thanks for watching, and let me know through your comment if you want me to cover on something.